This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library. For a free 10-day unlimited trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. And by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, PDF Pen for iPhone, PDF Pen for iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander, Text Expander Touch, and Disk Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the Talk of the Mac Community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, it's that time of year again when at least some of us start to look to the NAB show in Las Vegas, but even more look forward to the Super Meet in Las Vegas. Uh, this is, this is I don't know, well, we'll find out if it's the biggest one, but it's certainly one of the best ones, and it's one that I get to go to on a regular basis, and I can't wait. And here to tell us about it, Mr. Dan Barubi. Uh, Dan, great to see you. How are you tonight, Chuck? I'm great. It's great to have you. Yeah. And, of course, his uh, partner in crime, Mr. Michael Horton. Hi, Chuck. My I'm in, uh, of course, I'm in Los Angeles, and it's nice and sunny as the sun is going down. And it, actually, there's a, kind of a really nice sunset going on where you guys are in absolute darkness, I guess. Because well, <laughs> it's it's springtime here, and love is in the air, and birds are <laughs> chirping, and I look out, and it's sunny, and I see snow on the ground. It's really odd. Yeah, I thought you don't have spring yet. <laughs> it's like you've had winter for nine months or whatever. The birds are saying, well, what the hell? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah you, like, you were worrying me a bit there, Dan. Every bird I've seen is frozen solid. So. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised the birds survive Boston. I wonder what the the animal population, uh, you know, how it how it did in the winter time, because it was an it's awful winter. Hibernation. Oh, uh, that's true. And, Do birds? Uh, I don't think birds hibernate though. And they? mostly <laughs> humans did that as well. I certainly <laughs> did it. Uh, yeah. I know a lot of them did because they couldn't dig their cars out of the driveway. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> they no, couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> no choice. No choice. <laughs> So, guys, we're looking at uh, at a super meet coming up here in Las Vegas in uh, in conjunction with NAB in the not too distant future. Uh, and I've, as always, we wanted to have you on talk a little bit about what's going to be happening, who's presenting, what the format is of, of this year's event. So, I don't know who, yeah, should, who, who should start, Mike. It's huge. I mean, it uh, it's three weeks from today, so uh, we have uh, twenty one more days to uh, get this thing right. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it is on uh, April 14th at the Riviera Hotel. And, of course, we have a really good story about that. Um, this is going to be the final year of the Super Meet at the Riviera Hotel. Oh. Why? Because they're going to blow it up. <laughs> yes. You're kidding. I didn't know that. No, they sold it. Oh. Yeah. They, uh, once we, you know, we finally find a place that we love that's less than yeah. nine minutes away walking to the LVCC, and they got to pull the rug from underneath everyone. And our event is going to be like the last event Yeah, at the Riviera at, in Vegas. So come one, come all, because um, I'm going to be um, heisting my uh, Riviera bathrobe, that's for sure. Yeah. Do we get bathrobes? Because I'm going to take one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, no, the LVCC actually bought the Riviera, uh, and they're expanding the convention center over to the Strip. Yeah. Oh wow! And you the convention stuff. center is already the what the biggest convention center in the world. Now they're expanding it. It's like they need more space. Yeah. I don't know why, but they need more space. Maybe there's there's new technology that's going to be invented that they have to fill in the halls. But I don't know. Uh, Riviera and soon probably the um, what's the other place? Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo and yeah, and then I, I, well, I don't know if that's going to be demolished, but I think it's going to be remodeled or something like that. But the Riviera is the last remaining historical. Uh, hotel in the fifties because I mean it's it's a it's a great hotel. I, I then, stayed I stayed there for CES. Yeah, it's it is a great hotel, and I'd never stayed there before. And now, it, <laughs> yeah, you see all, the, all those great pictures on the wall and oh, in the yeah, elevators well, and stuff. It really gives you a sense of history. And uh, they're closing the doors two weeks after our event, and they're imploding it in August. Oh boy! So yeah, I think isn't that terrible? Extra, I think we get extra free cookies. <laughs> It's a bonus. Yeah, I don't know if you're staying at the Riviera, but we are. But they've already sent out a notice like 
you know, some of the amenities ain't going to be there while we're at the, at the, uh, at the that, show. I think like some of the restaurants might be closed or something. Yeah, I don't that know. was actually NAB sending that, not the hotel. So it's kind oh, of was odd. It? But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're excited. And, you know, the, the, the hotel loves us. And, uh, and uh, I guess they love us so much that they wanted us to be their last event. So yeah. <laughs> go ahead with a bang. Even yeah. though we signed the contract without knowing that it was going to be imploded, but it was right. still, it's, <laughs> so uh, you know we'll definitely have some interesting conversation about where we're going to be next year. Yeah, but this year we're nine minutes away from the LVCC, so there's no excuse. Walk yeah, to the super a, meet. It's a great location because if you're at the convention center, which everybody is, you just walk across the parking lot, walk across Paradise uh, Avenue, and you're there. And uh, it's terrific where uh, before, you know, when we were at the Rio, uh, we've actually done every single hotel in Las Vegas since the time, the 14 years we've been doing this. And, uh, and the others, you'd had to take taxis or shuttles or something like that. I mean, people still showed up. It's just so much easier at the Riviera. It's just, yeah. uh, we're really going to miss it. Yeah. yeah Plus, we got that. the Pepper Mill right next to us. Yeah, the best restaurant in the Strip. <laughs> and I bet Chuck, Chuck's never been there, have you, Chuck? Oh, you haven't? I've, I've been to the Pepper Mill. Sure. Oh, you have? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. right. oh, I sure. thought you you go to those fancy schmancy places and those steaks that cost $600. I, <laughs> I, I have yet to find a restaurant in Vegas that I really don't like. So Yeah, it's you know, probably it is kind of hard. They've yeah. they got some good food there. Yeah, and it, and with all the competition, it's if, if it's not good, they're not going to last. Yeah. So <laughs> I heard we have some good food at the Super Meat, Mike. Yeah, we have some awesome food. Pasta. Yeah, there was, hey, there was good food yeah, last, we had those last little, year. Little mini corns, <laughs> <laughs> little pickled corns. <laughs> so, I don't so if we don't come for the little pickled corns, is, which <laughs> that that could be a whole show into itself. Yeah. What what should we come to the super meet this year for? What's going to happen? It oh is a, it is a jam packed show. I mean, it's a really jam packed show. We're throwing so much stuff in that one night. Uh, I mean, we have uh, what I'm looking at the other screen here: Black okay. Magic. HP, Isotope, Ripple Training, Adobe, Gen Arts, OWC, plus three other things that we're doing for the first time ever. Yeah. Uh, We've got uh, seven stage presentations, and uh, so that gives enough time for someone to get something out of each presentation. Uh, maybe people will go back into the vendor showcase and check things out after hearing what they heard on the stage. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this because not only you know, do we have Adobe and we have Gen Arts, but we also have some, um, some interesting uh, presentations by Ripple Training. And uh, so if anyone... Yeah, if you're a big fan of Final Cut 10, obviously uh, you want to see that. I mean, right. the neat thing about having all these presentations that we're doing, we're throwing up, is just that, uh, again, it's like Dan said, if you're, if you're not interested in one, all right, Come back in ten minutes, and you'll be interested in the other. And uh, so that—that's going to be the show. It's going to be just jam packed with something for everybody. And uh, uh, but that's a, you know again, as you know, that's not necessarily what super meets are all about. What's happening on stage? It's no. what's happening in the room. Yeah. It, you know, it, I think it's it's everything. I mean, I've been to them. Oh, and, yeah, it's everything. We don't want know, to sell it short, obviously. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the, the stage presentations, but you're right. You know, there's some things that, in my case, don't apply to me. So I go back out to the vendor area or go to one, you know, little do a little socializing and then come That's back. That's exactly what everybody should do. Yeah. They should, you know, they should, right. okay, I don't want to see this. I want to go so, do that. And then I'll come back and see what I want to see. And, that, and that's because it is, it's a networking event. And I love it because on Facebook and on Twitter, all of our friends are saying, oh, by the way, you got to go to the super meet for the people that are coming for their first time. And, uh, you know, there, there's, you know, groups on Facebook like Revenge of the Nab Show Nerds and yeah, I love that all one. sorts of fun <laughs> things. And every day I see someone on Twitter, which I love because I always retwe retweet it. Someone that I don't even know, that we don't even know from some part of the world saying, just got my super meet ticket, you know, can't wait. And, you know, and maybe maybe they just started a Twitter account. Maybe they have only five or ten followers. But I'm retweeting them because that is important to me and to Mike and to everyone that's there. We want everyone there. 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's why we do these things. It is the whole networking and gathering thing that can, we're all sort of like-minded. We're all interested in the same sort of things. We're all a bunch of uh, storytelling nerds. And, uh, and we throw up a bunch of really, really cool stuff on, on stage and, uh, and, and gather together around, what, 25 or more um, uh, vendors, uh, software and hardware vendors out in the, uh, in the networking area. And then we get to feed each other hotel food. <laughs> Pickled corn. Pickled corn, yeah. Pickled corn. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Once you I start, wonder, you can't stop. <laughs> I wonder if we're <laughs> it's, it's off the rails already. Did I we, have, did I we have pickled corn last year? I don't remember last that. I know we had that. big slabs of meat. Yeah, yeah we had well, every, we every 10 feet, big slabs of meat. Yeah, it's we like do. We have big slabs of meat this year, and we have pasta. And uh, and last year it, we got there's something screwed up with the food. In it. They left early, and there was no food. But this year we've made sure there's going to be plenty of food. So yeah. um, that's it's not going to happen. It's going to be fun. And well, now I, I don't want to ask you to reveal anything you're not ready to. But I know you for the, for the main stage first. You said Adobe Gen Arts Ripple Training. Um, who else is doing pre- doing the presentations? Yeah, well the Black agenda. Magic. Yeah, Black Magic. Black Magic. Um, OWC. Uh, oh. OWC is going to be there. That's going to be really good. They're Ooh, they're they're yeah. brand new to the uh, as it is Ripple Training. Although Mark and Steve Steve Martin and Mark Spencer have been on the Super Meat stage before, right? Uh, but uh, as a as a sponsor, they've never have. So we got uh, an Isotope. Isotope's going to be doing what the RX four, some sort of new right. version. We don't know yet. There's something new that's something. Gonna we're yeah. all under NDA for like everything. <laughs> we yeah. Can't say. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really excited about what Adobe is going to be talking about because, um, you know, every time this year they have something new to share. And it's just the, I love the Adobe workflow and the tools. Um, and it's always, you know, we usually typically have Al Mooney on stage, so that'll be fun. Um, Gen Arts, I'm, we're really excited that Gen Arts um, took our lead in this and has Jeff Greenberg uh, with them, who's going to talk about uh, uh, the new Sapphire 8, which is nodal based. So, um, for anyone that's used, um, help me out here, Fusion 7, um, any of the uh, Resolve, like Solve, the Resolve, the Resolve uh, going yeah, back. Those to, great visual effects. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, and I've, I've taken some of Jeff's classes, and he's a great. Oh, he's the, he's, he's the best. I mean, yeah, Jeff he's is just... the equalizer on the Super Meat stage. He always brings the house down when, when everyone wants to be entertained. And so we've got him. Gen Arts has him. And I think we're going to raffle him off afterwards. Yeah. But... <laughs> Live humans that we're going to. Uh, the one thing that I can, uh, I'm really thrilled to say about Gen Arts is that everyone wants to do something different. And um, Gen Arts is going to, is we're working out. So that every single attendee that um, RSVPs for the event that gets a ticket will get six months of their new software. Yeah, so, subscri- they're going whoa. subscription. And uh, yeah. yeah, you just show up and, to, and you'll see it right there on the seat. Yeah, I can't wait to promote this. So, wow. and so we have all sorts of things. And that's not even part of our over 100,000 K raffle that we have. So we're presently at over 102,000 last year. We are at 107,000. I'm pretty sure that we'll top that, especially given the fact that, uh, you know, the 1300 plus people that will be at the super meet will each get something from Gen arts. And so it's a, it's, it's a, it's a no brainer to attend. Yeah. Um, if you want to, if you want to feel like you need to get something there, but at the same time, what you do get is a community and a really great feeling that puts the spirit in you for the whole show for the rest of the week. What you see at the super meet, you can go back into the show floor and meet with every one of these vendors and say, hey, I saw you at the super meet. You were talking about this. Tell me more about that. Is that not a win to be having uh, our super meet stage at, at what we like to call the greatest show on earth, NEB? <laughs> I love it. And so it's exciting. Every time this year, I always, you know, everyone wants to be on their A game and come there, not only to say hi to everybody, but just to say, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. And we all walk away inspired. That's what I yeah. like. This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Harry's. Find affordable shaving gear that you'll love. And you can get $5 off your first purchase 
by using the code MACVOICES at harrys.com. There are so many things to like about Harry's that I hardly know where to start. The convenience of online ordering so you don't have to deal with the heavies at the drugstore who seem more intent on making it difficult to buy your razors than anything else. The fact that you can choose a shave plan so that you don't even have to worry about ordering your next round of shaving gear. It just shows up in the mail on a schedule that you select. And of course, the blades. Made in a factory in Germany that Harry's bought, they deliver a terrific shave at a price that can't be beat. It can't be beat because Harry cuts out the middleman, or middlemen, as the case may be, to give you great blades at a great price. But more than great blades make a great shave. That's why I love Harry's shaving creams and aftershave moisturizer. You can choose from the shaving cream that's as smooth as butter, or the foaming gel that lathers up better than anything I've ever used. While I enjoy both, the foaming shave gel is my personal favorite. It actually makes me look forward to shaving in the morning. And the Harry's Aftershave Moisturizer finishes things off with a great smell and a great feel. All in all, the best shaving experience I've ever had, beginning to end. Yes, I like Harry's and I want you to like Harry's too. You can try a Harry's Starter Kit for only $15. That gets you a Harry's Handle, three Harry's Blades, and your choice of their shave cream or my favorite, the Foaming Shave Gel. And then take $5 off that order by using the code MACVOICES. And if you're smart, you'll throw in a bottle of the Aftershave Moisturizer. That's $5 off your first order from Harry's with the code MACVOICES. Harry's, fine affordable shaving gear that you'll love. I do, and I know you will too. Thanks to Harry's for their support of Mac Voices. Well, there's another thing too that, that I've discovered at the Super Meat that I really like. There's some, unfortunately, even at NAB, which is not like CES, but it's still awfully, awfully large. There are times that it's just hard to get to a particular vendor to talk to them maybe when you're there because everybody else is there. You come to the super meet and it's a chance to see them and interact a little more one-on-one with them, get some questions answered, see a, a little more of an intimate demo maybe of what they're doing. So, you know, it, it does not take the place of the NAB show floor, but it supplements it and creates another opportunity to meet with the people you really want to talk to. Yeah, there's some there's some uh, 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 tables out there, some of our sponsors out there who are not on the show floor. It's, uh, uh, but most of them are on the show floor. And uh, but you're right, it gives them a chance to do a little bit more of a one on one where it's really difficult to get to them uh, in the uh, unless you go on a Thursday. If you go on a Thursday, you can get pretty much one-on-one with everybody. However, by Thursday, they're all so tired, they don't want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. But Thursday is a good day to go to, uh, to go to the show floor at NEB because it, uh, it's the, uh, there's nobody there. <laughs> so it's, it's really nice to be able to talk to people. That's not been my experience in the past, Mike. There seemed to, Really? Yeah, there seemed to be – I don't know. For me, Thursday is, is, has been – I mean, you can move around maybe a little easier, but nobody I think seems Thursday, to have left. I think Thursday is make or break day for a lot of people, you know, for for either going, visiting sponsors, getting those final questions answered. To mm-hmm. You know, everyone wants to have a story to bring back to them, especially a lot of these people that go to the super meets and, and to NEB, I should say, are people that are leaving their companies, their company jobs, and they get, like, granted, okay, you're going – to NAB, but we need a report of what right. what's new and exciting that we might be able to put into our workflows to, to build our business. So it's natural that people would want to come not only to NAB, but also to the super meet to see the latest. And, you know, we put our finger on the pulse of what's happening, and that spreads throughout the whole week. So yeah, that's a, essentially, I mean, the, the lineup we have on the stage uh, right now is is pretty much the finger on the pulse. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a lot of all brand new stuff. We can't exactly say what they're going to show because we can't announce it until shortly before the event date. But uh, for Ripple Training, for Final Cut Pro 10, if you're a Final Cut Pro 10 fan uh, or even interested in it, uh, the uh, editor of that uh, Will Smith movie, Focus, uh, which is basically the first big feature film used with uh, cut with uh, Final Cut Pro 10 will be on stage along with Steve and uh, Mark, and uh, and who knows what else they're going to be showing in terms of tips and tricks in Final Cut 10. But that's going to be cutting edge and new. And yeah. uh, Alexis, you just said Alexis is going to be uh, Alexis Van Herkman is going to be with us. Yes, from- we can say that uh, Black Magic Design is having Alexis Van Herkman back on stage, so we're pretty excited about that. 
Adobe, uh, I just read uh, about uh, at South by Southwest, there was um, a large number of films that were cut on Adobe Premiere. Yeah. So that's a great, you know, we have a huge indie filmmaker following uh, an audience at the Super Meet. So that's a good thing. Um, we, well, I, I think we can say that Serena Catania will be I with us. I hope we can say that. We, do, uh, do, we, do we know that for sure? <laughs> well, we're that. supposed to... Uh, Let's put it this way. As far as we know, <laughs> Serena Catania will be on stage with OWC, Other World Computing. And uh, Serena is one of our um, kindred soul spirit friends that go way back with us, uh, each of us. And um, she's also the original – I love saying this. She's the orig one of the original co-founders of Sundance. And she's worked as a as a producer at all the you know studios uh, – Etc. Uh, in Hollywood, yeah, and, terrific uh, filmmaker. Yeah, is is an outstanding filmmaker. He's working on a <laughs> documentary on Keonti's story, who is a wounded athlete that's turned a, a, a wounded uh, veteran that's turned into an athlete, and so pretty inspiring stuff. As Mike likes to say, uh, a lot of this, what we have tonight, uh, excuse me, at the Super Meet, harkens back to some of our original roots. You know. We'll talk about Final Cut again, obviously. Uh, we have, you know, we used to have wounded warriors on stage. Yeah. And uh, so we'll have, you know, hopefully, hopefully we'll have, Keon, you know, uh, Serena talking about Keontae. And we also have some new people here on the, you know, we have Whipster is going to be showing a, an interesting, unique video to the Super Meet. Uh, and yeah, this is all this is all new. This uh, this uh, well, we're, we're, we call it short time stage time. For right. La lack of a better expression. Uh, Whipster is. Uh, I'm looking forward to their little short time stage time yeah. presentation. There, but it's it's essentially videos. Yeah. Instead of getting up on stage and demoing something, they just show a video. And and what we'll do is we'll play them in between um, presentations so there's no dead space while we're getting set up for the other uh, presentations. So these guys are crafting these these wonderful little masterpieces so people can watch while we're getting set up for the pre presentation. So, you know, hopefully it'll, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be an idea that we uh, take into the future. Yeah. We have uh, Canaan Flowers. It's going to have uh, that studio. Um, uh, connecting so a, lo a lot of people will be able to connect with Kanan and hear about what's happening new with that studio and know he's got a lot that he's put into uh, developing with Adobe and whatnot for uh, software and uh, integration uh, one of our older sponsors or one of our uh, well Qvis is going to be with us again uh, now Qvis was with us if I remember correctly when we did our first Amsterdam super meet and they've really come a long way. Uh, they uh, specialize in digital cinema packaging or creating the software that now works with Final Cut, um, Adobe, uh, to create uh, the, the DCP packages or digital cinema packages that every single independent filmmaker should be doing to distribute their film um, in festivals, etc. And they actually have this new player that's portable that is literally... The size, it's like the size of a coffee cup. And, uh, and, you can t and it plays 2K and 4K footage, uh, uh, DCPs, um, packages. So we're, we're talking about bleeding edge technology that's going to be at the super meet. I mean, yeah. we, we won't really know what everyone else is going to be doing until they show up and whatnot. And we'll, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> it's well, exciting. We'll see him, we'll see him in rehearsal. <laughs> Oh, is that what you're showing? Okay. Great. Yeah, it's always <laughs> it's always cool. I mean, it's a geek fest, and then it's also a people fest too, as well. Just just as yeah. important. That that's the uh, that's the main thing. It's a people fest. Now, it's not, I, I, I'm not sure. I, the, the the videos you talked about would be something that's brand new. Mike, early on, you said something about three different brand new things never done before. Yeah, that's uh, what we're doing. Uh, uh, Red Giant and uh, uh, FX Factory and Whipster are all showing these 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 little short videos. And uh, instead of, like I said, instead of having some dead time while we're setting up for the next presentation, these will be shown. And uh, so we're uh, we're in, and it's in a, it's a much more it's an affordable way to be on stage. Well, we've done this before, but from a filmmaker perspective, uh, maybe about five or six super meets ago, we had like um, five minute filmmakers come up. Yeah, and, those and are talk. show and tells. I always yeah. love those yeah. things. And we'll yeah. do that again. Yeah. We'll probably, we'll, we're most likely we'll do that at some of our 
other super meets this year, which hopefully we'll have time to talk about because it's pretty exciting about that as well. But, um, you know, again, you know, it's a good night. We, um, we, uh, we end on a high note. We're at a good spot uh, on Vegas, so everyone can go wherever they want to go to afterwards. And then Mike and I can crash and sleep in the next day. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. I know I have a, uh, I have like a ten o'clock in the morning uh, podcast interview with Kanan. Well, so far I don't, I don't so I don't. I'm, I'm sleeping in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's folks, right there, Mike Horton. He, 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 you could interview him the night after. Although the I don't after think I've ever week. slept in later than nine anyway in my yeah. life. But we'll see. <laughs> The other thing, too, I want to make sure, and we again, we hit this every time, but we have to reiterate it, that with everything that you just described, the raffle, the presentations, the FaceTime, the, the vendor fair, everything, the super meet is super affordable. Yeah, well, that's that's the deal, and that's usually because of uh, our sponsors, because uh, we try to keep it as affordable as we possibly can. I mean, we don't want to charge twenty five, fifty bucks. No, um, we and think we, it's free if we could, but you know, yeah, we really could, we really would because that's it is all about the people, and uh, you know, it's it's you know, it's ten dollars for the for the uh, the. Uh, early bird tickets and then $15 for now. And then it'll be 20 bucks at the door. And right. for what you get, <laughs> that's but I really doubt that we'll have any tickets left at the door because we typically <laughs> sell out by, you know, the week before. Yeah. So it's, and, uh, so, and, the, and tickets are going really well. And, uh, um, I heard that ticket master is selling them for like a million dollars. Yeah. Now. Like <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're selling on eBay now for <laughs> stub hub. Yeah. yeah stub hub. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't got to that place yet, but maybe one day we will. I don't know, but it's uh, it's going really well. And but yeah, that's 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 been our whole mission in life is to keep it affordable. And as long as the sponsors keep coming through, um, we uh, we can do that. And uh, so we try to we try to put as many sponsors as we can in the uh, in the um, in the vendor showcase area. Uh, and uh, and the more we have, that you know, the cheaper it is to do this thing. Because these, especially Vegas, it is so expensive to oh, yeah. uh, to put on right. these shows. Well, but so, not as uh, not as expensive as San Francisco. Or and that's yeah, why yeah, we that's stopped true. doing the San Francisco Super Meet a couple years back. But words on the street that we're going back in the Bay Area in June, end of June. Ooh, and, yeah, uh, we're working on that right now. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, and also doing another event in uh november that will take us back to the bay area you know we um, and then of course we so so here's the deal we we typically go to amsterdam for the last couple of years well since we you know we're going to be in our what ninth year now i think it's doing eighth, amsterdam, eighth, yeah, eighth or eighth, ninth uh, i lost i lost count it's all that it's all those coffee shops yeah <laughs> but um you know we'll be back at ibc for the amsterdam super meet in september but before then, we typically in June do this um, uh, traveling roadshow, if you will. One year we'll be in London, another year we've been in Boston, another you know. So this year we're uh, working with Future Media Concepts, and uh, FMC is doing the inaugural uh, FCP10 Creative Summit in San Jose, and we're working to hold an event alongside with them, partnering up with them, and having a great time doing it as well. So that's going to be the end of June, and that will be um, so that we'll be close to San Francisco, um, and, but close enough for people from San Francisco to come on out, everyone in the Bay Area to come and congregate for us to have a roll call again of here we are again in, in this area, and, and let's, yeah, it's let's only uh, have a good it's night. Only, what is it? San Jose is like an hour and 15 minutes or something like that, or even the short, most, shorter the, with BART. Yeah. Um, I know Claudia will be happy, and then... And I'm pretty sure I can announce this. Well, uh, in November, well, in November, we were thinking of going to, well, we will go to Tokyo someday to, uh, during Interbe. And, uh, and we, we looked at, we explored it last year, but we couldn't quite make it happen. This year, we were looking to do that again, but uh, we realized that we're, we're still in the exploratory stage of getting the right people together because there's a lot of, a lot of uh, pieces of the puzzle that need to come together for that. Not only just putting a super meat in a foreign country, but also the cultural issues, etc. So um, we're looking to do another event uh, in San Jose during Adobe uh, Adobe Video World, 
which will take place. Uh, it's not, I think probably by the time you get this out, uh, they'll announce that they'll be doing something like that. So there will be an Adobe event um, in November that we're going to do another super meet alongside. And um, and then there's always Dubai. We want to go to Dubai, right, Mike? <laughs> do, I know yes. I want to go. <laughs> um, I, I can tell you that uh, there's probably likelier that we might go to Dubai first before Tokyo because not the same type of cultural issues or translation issues that exist. Yeah. And uh, we do want to expand our presence. We're also talking to Serena and meeting with them. Um, Serena and came back earlier this Ber year Berlin. From, the, from Berlin, the Berlin All. And so we're talking – about the idea of going to Germany. So it's not just fun for the United States, not yep. just fun for Amsterdam and Holland and London. It, we tried to spread the, uh, the love and, uh, and try to make it happen. You know, and, you know, Mike and I have realized about four or five <laughs> super meets ago, this is our, our calling. You know, we're, we're, we're happy. We're passionate. There's equal parts of passion. There's equal parts of humility in this. And we work hard to make these events happen, and we're excited that people still are interested to come. And as long as people are still interested in coming and the sponsors are there, we'll continue doing this. Yeah. Today's edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, PDF Pen for iPhone, PDF Pen for iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander, Text Expander Touch, and Disc Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Today, I want to tell you about PDF Pen, but not the PDF Pen you've known before. PDF Pen has just been revved to version 7 and brings with it all sorts of great new capabilities to make you even more productive when it comes to dealing with your PDFs. There's a new, viewable optical character recognition text layer for proofing OCR text from scanned pages. I'm still a little surprised at the number of times I get in documents via paper rather than email or file transfer, and that's why this is such a great feature. OCR is great, and PDF Pen's OCR delivers a high degree of accuracy, but there always seem to be those one or two specialized terms that are used in one profession or another that it doesn't always get right. This new text layer lets you make quick work of proofreading and correcting those kinds of errors so that your PDF file is accurate. There's also a new way to sign PDF forms via interactive signature fields. No, this isn't another take on digital signatures. It's a brand new feature that you're going to love and find very useful. Smile has also added context-sensitive pop-up menus to, again, help you get the edits done faster. And because they want to stay as current as possible in the ever-changing, ever-evolving Apple universe, PDF Pen 7 now supports iCloud Drive and iOS 8 and Yosemite. That means that sharing your documents across platforms so they're always at your command just became that much easier. Want more? Step up to PDF Pen Pro 7 and you get all that, plus the ability to export PDFs to Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint, and PDF archive formats. And of course, that also means you can send them to Apple's Pages and Keynote too. Convert entire websites to multi-page PDFs with the hyperlinks intact, create and edit document tables of contents, there's lots more. Philip Goward of Smile was my guest on Mac Voices 15054, and he told us all about it, along with how the interface has been revamped and more. Check it out for all the details, and then check out PDF Pen 7 or PDF Pen Pro 7 on the Smile website at smilesoftware.com. You're going to be able to do things with PDFs that you didn't think possible, and you're going to love it. That's Smile Software to pick up the new PDF Pen 7 and PDF Pen Pro 7. Smile, the makers of world-class software, and they've done it again. Thanks to Smile for being the longest-running sponsor of Mac Voices. I, I can't imagine how sponsors would not be interested in this because you, you all have taken this from, you know, its genesis into an international event. You know, it's it's not just it's not just some fly by night operation or you know a couple guys say hey we're going to get together and look at video production i mean this is this is a big deal you guys have made a great name for yourselves and 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 i, I can't stress enough every super meet i've gone to i first of all i come away with with learning a, an immense amount yeah so and, do we yeah but i also have a ball and i always meet some new friends and i've been doing this now enough i i don't get to all of them obviously but i've been doing it enough now that you start to see of the some of the same people and you, you, those friendships get regenerated and they lead to new friendships and they lead to new connections for whatever your next project might be. 
Yeah, I mean the the Vega Super Meat is is the flagship, and that's that's you know that's that's three times four times bigger than any other Super Meat that we do because it's NAB. Um, the other uh, like Amsterdam is is a big one, but it's 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 half the size of uh, Vegas. Vegas is the is the big one, and uh, it's it's also the hardest one to produce. But it's a it's 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 a it's a biggie, and but it's it is so much fun. It because really you is. Do, you do yeah. see a lot of the, you, a lot of your friends. Yeah, it's a great magnification of what we do locally, and uh, yeah. And at Vegas is the one one event that uh, most of our compatriots, if you will, uh, who run other user groups and digital video groups around the planet, will be there. And we always have make an effort to have some acknowledging a roll call, etc. But again, it's really what we do locally. We go back home. We continue can you do, continue doing this every month. I mean, I'm in Boston. I run the Boston Creative Pro Use Group. Michael <laughs> runs the Los Angeles version. Claudia Krask runs SF Cutters. That's the original, uh, what was back then, the original Final Cut Pro Use Group is now, um, uh, you know, more than just that. It's encompassing script to screen, just like all of our groups do. Um, I'm really excited that people like George Kennedy have opened up and, and started out of his passion. Um, the district, uh, the district digital creators in Washington D.C. Um, there's groups that you know they they work for a bit and then there's different let's there's different dynamics. We don't all have to be doing monthly events, but if we just continue some sort of local ambassadorship, that's what fuels the fire and lets and keeps people interested. And it's a win-win for NAB because uh, these people come back and talk about what they did at NAB. And there's people that may not even know about NAB or have yeah. been wanting to go, and they get inspired and say, well, I'm going next year. you know. And so that's, that's, that's a win you know, for any of these events that we do. And right now, our, stand, our, our NAB and Amsterdam are our events that we do alongside a trade show. We come June and in November, we'll do a couple more. I, Dan, I'm so glad you pointed that out because I, I know that you run the Boston group. I know Mike runs the LA group. And, and the, the idea that it's an amplification of what you do there, I, I surf both of your sites on a monthly basis to see what you're doing. I, I Obviously, I can't get to either one of those either. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I've, I'm kind of salivating at times over the what you bring to those local venues. And then I'm sure you tap some of that stuff off and, and it feeds into the super meat. So if, if you're on either coast in either one of those cities, go see their, the individual groups. Yeah. But everybody else, everybody meet in Las Vegas at the Riviera before they tear it down, eat big slabs of meat and pickled <laughs> corn and, and go no, to the super No meat. sledgehammers. We're going to let them destroy the place. Although, <laughs> And come win one of 100 and God knows how many thousands of dollars worth of raffle prizes. It's, it's just – it's officially insane right now. With do we want to? Yeah, do we want to talk about that? Nah, that's not worth talking about, right? <laughs> no, the raffle. No, no. Well, let's, the raffle. Well, let's let's talk about the raffle first of all. To make it's clear, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but to make clear, you get a ticket and you get a raffle ticket. Right. Well, you get uh, if you buy a ticket, you get two raffle tickets. If okay. you want to buy more, then you buy more. Okay. And uh, we limit that to twenty-four extra tickets. But uh, you get a chance to win just an insane amount of prizes. Uh, I mean, Black Magic has given us everything that they make. It's just, it's, yeah, they just, it, it's, it's incredible. Like they that open up the catalog a, and spill it out on the stage. I know, exactly. It's like, um, it's like a B&H you know. thing. <laughs> They're giving us an Ursa camera. They're giving us a, a full yep. black, uh, uh, Resolve 10 system. That's the big color panel. That thing is worth $30,000 right there. Four uh, different cameras. Yeah, and the uh, studio pounds. cameras and, and the pocket camera and the, all this stuff can be yours if you just buy a ticket. Yeah, Aja is, is – uh, Not all this stuff. You can only win one prize. That's that's the uh, – that's that's one of the rules. Aja or AJA is giving out an Aja IO uh, 4K. Uh, Atomus is giving out their new Shogun. Um, Isotope is – Isotope is giving – good Lord. Five copies of yeah. their advanced Isotope RX4 advanced. That's 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 incredible. Saw five of them, fifteen then, copies of their uh, of their standard version. It's just yeah, oh. it's, it's and incredible. they're giving out with each one of those prizes a safe a surprise, and we'll find out what that. Yeah, 
I don't even know what the surprise is. Um, <laughs> but it, 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 you can go down the list. It takes you five minutes to scroll down the list. We haven't even added our bonus raffle door prize from yeah. H yet, which is going to be huge. And what else they will uh, contribute to the raffle and NVIDIA as well. So, you know, video cards, if you want video cards, NVIDIA and AMD will be at the Super Meet. You know, if you want hard drives, OWC, GTEC. I remember uh, last year, you had to go home early, didn't you, uh, last year from the Super Meet? Yeah, unfortunately, I, I didn't get to the raffle. I, I've, yeah, I was well, running for the, for the airport. Trust me, Chuck, you want to you want to stay if you can. Oh, I know. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been there, and I, I know what it's like. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be it's, crazy. First of all, it's extremely entertaining, extremely crazy, extremely fun. Yeah. But you, what you can walk away with is just staggering. Yeah, I know. It's just, and Dan and I can't win a damn thing. Nope. <laughs> We can hand it out, but that's we can our, hand it out. We can't win it. That's our moment of thrill. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> the Santa Clauses. <laughs> Plus, I mean, we get a lot of hugs. We get a lot of people that jump uh, and do somersaults and <laughs> try not to hurt themselves in the process. Yeah, and uh, that makes up for a lot of it. Yeah, I've I've seen a few crazy things. In fact, yeah. I, as I recall, I re remember Mike chastising somebody for getting just a little too crazy. Yeah, well, I don't know if I chastise them, man. Where if some people do get a little bit too crazy. I remember a few years ago when, when a very uh, large man was uh, running down the aisle and he and he he started having chest pains, and that just oh my god, that freaked me out. But he was fine. It's like, yeah, <laughs> we've we've, we've but, seen we've seen women running at Mike, ripping off their clothes, and it's like yeah, that, we, so, we still have, I wish have, that had happened, but that yeah. hasn't happened yet. I mean, someday we'll talk about all the worldly events that have happened during super meets all the product <laughs> launches that have happened oh, yeah you know first awesome. first see it first at a super meet when we did our london super meet one year that was the year that michael jackson died on the same evening right yeah. um around the time that we were doing the raffle with walter merch passing out uh you know announcing the raffle tickets and whatnot so Remember and I'll guy, always remember that. Goes, he, he whispers it into our ear, and he goes, "Michael Jackson just died." And I go, "Michael Jackson just died." And, <laughs> then, there's like, and then there's like a ten second pause, and then somebody from the back of the back of the room goes, "Get on with the raffle! Get on with the raffle!" <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> there are priorities here. Yeah, there are there priorities. priorities. <laughs> So, in case it's not obvious, the website to learn about all the raffle prizes, all the sponsors, all these main stage sessions, everything is supermeet.com. Supermeet How simple as that? Okay. I think Super we need a little rehearsal, but okay. Meet with a double E. Yes. Yeah, supermeet.com. Uh, super and, e. and we uh, got a, we got a discount I, ticket, right, uh, for, uh, for Chuck? Yes, uh, uh, that would be uh, Mac Voices VIP. Is it? Is it? I got to yes. well. It is. Well, well if it is, you just I, go to the yeah, you, you can put it VIP. We'll do that. Okay. Because that's what we do all every year. We might as well make it consistent. Okay, I mean, thank you. you know, supermeet.com, but we might as well change the name Supermeet to Community because that's what it's all about. Yeah. Hanging with cool people like us and, and the, all the people that come um, to just have a big, uh, wonderful loving and having a good time, socializing, networking, tip back, let loose, have some drinks, food, pickled corn. Win some prizes. Pickled corn. <laughs> I don't know where the pickled corn thing came from, but it's. Oh, it's you know what we got? We got uh, it's the uh, discount code. We we put voices. No, but let's make it Mac. Isn't that easier? Yeah. Or do you want Mac, Mac voices? Yeah, better, VIP. better make it Mac voices. Yeah, yeah. Mac okay. voices VIP. Right. Yeah, so Mac voices VIP will get you a discounted entry into the super meet. Get you a raffle ticket, or is it two raffle tickets? It two gets raffle. you two raffle. Get you two tickets. raffle tickets. Get you. The, the meat, the corn, the whole thing, uh, and, and just a, a whole lot of fun with, real, as Dan said, really cool, great people. Slabs of meat and pickled corn. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Where else wait. could you get that? Really. What type of community would not want that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, okay. Dan Berube, Michael Horton, great to see you guys. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in three weeks at the Super Meat. All right. I'll see you there, Chuck. All Safe right. trip. Same see to you soon. all. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Mac Voices is headed to NAB and the Super Meet and everything else that's going on that is going on at NAB. I hope you will join us there. If you see me, please stop by and say hello. Definitely see Mike and Dan at the Super Meet and say thank you for everything they do because they put in a lot of work to make this happen for you. 
Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.